We'll let you watch liftoff of Ariane space flight number 220. Final. final countdown. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, top. Allumage Vulcan. Allumage UAP, décollage. Tous les paramètres à bord sont normaux. Fin de la manœuvre de basculement. So, did you watch the arms pull back right on time? We had ignition, you saw Ariane 5 begin her mission, rising off the ground here in French Guiana with a lot of fire, right on time. Carrying Intel Sat 30 and R Sat 1. The DDO is saying that all is well on board. We're underway. The boosters providing over 90, 90% of the thrust right now, propelling the launcher along its trajectory at an ever increasing velocity, getting her away from the pull of the Earth. And there's a lot to pull away because Ariane's weight at liftoff, 775 tons. She's burning now five tons of fuel per second. That's right, per second, 2.5 tons in each booster. And the core stage burning another 300 kilos per second. Ariane following the flight program in her onboard computer, which will give all the commands, such as separation of the stages. We'll soon begin to see those. We are in the first of four flight phases. The first three are powered, the last is not. We'll describe each in turn, so you can follow Ariane as she heads across the Atlantic. The DDO continuing to call out all as well on board. Right now we're in the first flight phase, the main, the main stage engine and the two boosters burning. The boosters will burn their propellant in just under two and a half minutes, and they're the first that we jettison. You'll hear the DDO call out that milestone as well. We're heading east, out over the Atlantic. The decision to build the site here in French Guiana made in the 1960s when France wanted a new base, in part the decision made for its opening on the water to allow for launches over uninhabited areas. On the bottom, our speed and altitude. Our speed on the right, you can see the booster separation right on time. Our speed uh, at orbital injection, nine kilometers per second, roughly. We're at two kilometers per second, so watch the numbers. You'll know where we are. The onboard computer detecting that there's no more fuel in the booster tanks. So the thrust decreases, and the computer senses the drop and decides to separate the boosters. Next up is fairing separation. The booster separated at 67 kilometers altitude on the left, on the bottom, our altitude. Sometimes the figure is not the one you see. That's uh, quite normal. It's because of a slight delay or lag in the telemetry coming in here. In about 10 seconds will be the separation of the fairing. You'll see that on the animation there. There it is. Separation given by two pyrotechnic systems. There's an onboard camera. We'll show you how that is. That's, uh, you see one of the halves blown away on the one side, the other at a camera range. The camera's not on board tonight. This is from an earlier flight, but the system is exactly the same. 